In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create the best title animation in Premiere Pro from scratch. If you want to save time, you can also check out my latest motion titles animation pack for Adobe Premiere Pro. This pack consists of 70 fully customizable animated titles. I have included the link in the description, so make sure to check it out. We will create our first title animation in Premiere. Firstly, select the text tool and type anything you like. Then create another text just under the first one in the same layer. Next, go to the effects panel and search for crop. Ensure that your essential panel is open and place the crop effect above both text layers in essential graphics. Then search for transform in effects and place it between the two text layers and the crop effect. Select the crop effect and crop it. Hide your second text. Then select the transform effect and create a position keyframe at the beginning. Increase the y-axis value until your text is hidden. Move forward a few frames, around 20 frames, and reset the keyframe. This will make your text appear smoothly. To add a directional blur, change the shutter angle to 180 or 360. Now it's time for the second text animation. Create a group with the first text, crop effect, and transform effect for organization purposes. For the second text, add crop and transform effects above the text. Cut your first text by selecting crop and cut it. Create a position keyframe at the beginning and decrease its value until the text is hidden. Move forward 20 frames and reset the keyframes. Make it smooth by selecting Ease In and add a directional blur by changing the shutter angle. For the outro, create a position keyframe with the same value where you want to end the title animation. Move forward a few frames and increase or decrease the text until it's hidden. This will create a smooth transition. And there you have it, the final result. Next, we have this glitchy text for creating this type of anything using text tools. First, search for block dissolve and drop it onto your text. Then change the block width and height to 100. Make a transition completion keyframe at the very beginning and change its value to 100. It's up to you to decide how long the glitch animation should be, but 10 frames would be perfect for me. Now change the transition completion to zero so that the text looks like this. Next, search for VR Digital and drag and drop it onto the text layer. Create a master amplitude with a value of 100 at the very beginning, and after 10 frames, change its value back to zero. Add some free sound effects to enhance the animation. Next, we're going to create an amazing subtitle animation using the FireCut plugin, a tool designed specifically for editors and packed with powerful features. Here's the FireCut interface. They offer multiple amazing tools that can save you a lot of time while editing. Since this video is about title animation, let's try out the captions feature. First, select your audio language and click on transcript. Now, you'll see multiple ready-made presets to choose from, including some very popular caption styles. You also get plenty of customization options here, allowing you to enhance your subtitles or even create your own unique style in just seconds. The plugin lets you fully customize every aspect of your subtitles. Once you've set everything the way you want, simply hit the add button. FireCut will automatically add your subtitles and the whole process takes less than a minute to complete. This plugin is a game changer for editors. You can try out FireCut today. The link is in the description. And don't forget to use my coupon code for a special discount. For our final text animation, we will create a typewriter effect that adds a cinematic feel to your video. You can find a fantastic typewriter pack in my store that can be of great help to you in creating cinematic sequences. I have provided the link in the description. Firstly, you need a typewriter sound effect, which can easily be found on YouTube. Now, you need to cut your audio to the number of alphabets that you'll write. For example, if I type typewriter, which has 10 letters, I'll need 10 type sound effects in total. Next, type your text and change its font to something that looks like an old typewriter. In the effects control, create a source keyframe at the beginning and delete all the text. As you can see in the audio, some peaks identify the typewriter sound. Drag your playhead to the first peak and type the first letter. Move to the second peak, type the second letter, and so on. Once you've completed this step, it will look like this. To make it more realistic, you can add some noise sound effects under the typewriter sound. 
hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.